Fatherland and Nation, a human group held together by a feeling of common belonging to one and the same human social culture, linguists. Economic historic destiny generally settled on one particular identified territory for the destiny of which one is expected to show love and respect. Traitor with treason and conspiracy. Whoever abandons his clan or people is no longer faithful to its destiny, nor is true to his obligations. Faithless cowardly sells himself or herself to other states or individuals who secretly create disturbance against their fellow citizens. Artist, a poet, creator, and interpreter expressing a situation, idea, a historical reality of an event in a work of art. An event of historic occurrence is one that changes our daily lives. The people of the Lebanon area were the first Phoenicians, great sailors that were the first to initiate trading routes around the Mediterranean Sea. The first alphabet, seafaring technology, and highly skilled art and tradespeople made. The region wealthy among all this was a bountiful, beautiful countryside. This region was called Mesopotamia, or Two Rivers. It is the cradle of civilization. This became part of the Ottoman Empire that was superpower covering the Middle East, North Africa, and Eastern Europe. Being part of the Ottoman Empire did not mean that you have a national identity. The people had blurred traditional tribal loyalties that were often in conflict. This all changed after World War I. Allies, the side that won, did not understand or ignore this part of the very complex community of people. The Allies created new boundaries, countries, on the map to suit themselves. For instance, Britain took over the area to be Iran and took with the oil. They did this since the Germans, the losers in World War I, had a major stake in the Turkish Petroleum Company. And then the Allies took command of the Turkish Petroleum Company and reorganized it into Iran Petroleum Company. Part of the reorganization of the Ottoman Empire was to reward people who helped stir up conflict. Abdul Azia Ibn Saad led a revolt against the Ottoman Empire during World War I and was given the newly created Saudi Arabia. Another man, Sharif, whose family's history include a religious prophet, was rewarded Iraq in return for his help. British Foreign Office close to deal with Zionist organization in 1917 to create a Jewish national home in the newly created country of Palestine. France controlled part of the region. At first, this brought great infrastructure, prosperity, liberty, and peace. But slowly, it was being torn into communities. France started calling the region Greater Lebanon. In September 1920, a new country was formed with a French tricolor in the background and a cedar tree in the middle of the new country's flag. It turned out these people could only agree to live together when it was convenient. It was mainly broken into two religions, Christian and Muslim. The Muslims did not want to be separated from other Muslim countries and the Christian group remained attached to the West, Europe, and Americas. The National Pact of 1943 brought forth the complete division as the famous expression of Michael Chia 
Two negations do not make a nation. Syria has never admitted the independence of Lebanon. So time goes on. The Palestinians are fleeing from conflict and are welcomed by the hundred thousands to Lebanon as guests. Be our guest, be our guest. Do, 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 do. These guests turned on Lebanon and used Lebanon as a launching pad to continue their conflict with Israel, dragging Lebanon into the fight. This divided the country even more. Civil war has now become the norm for Lebanon. Other countries have come in portraying themselves as saviors and have only stabbed the people of Lebanon in the back, such as Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq, Libya, and Israel. Joseph Matar, born in 1935, is a Lebanese painter and poet. He was first educated in Juni and by the 1950s, he studied painting under Omar Ansi. Among others, in 1963, he furthered his adduction as the University of Paris, and he has studied in other parts of Europe as well. I chose Joseph Matar because his painting during 1975 through 1985 demonstrate the breakdown of systems that, though war brought the Lebanese country to its downward spiral, Joseph Matar's series is known as a history of a nation. As a painter, he has over 60 one-man shows. As a poet, he is a winner of the said AKI Awards. Here are a couple of paintings from his collection. My Hero Pupil, 1976. A young hero with a gun leaving his family, his village, his peasant father who works as a farmer. The sun burns in the sky as souls of dead soar upwards. A village is in flames. A big gash in canvas divides it into two parts. A classroom with an empty desk and a chair. A rope to warn an upside down ladder. A monk on a cross. This picture shows that with a war, nobody goes to school to learn how to change their destiny. The noose is there to scare people away from change. The upside-down ladder is to show that there will be no growth, no upward movement, and the lastly, the monk of the cross, that all hope is lost. The Destruction of Demore, 1976 The piece is tragic, the sky is dark and the town deserted, the people are gathered, on the shoreline where one small boat allows a little ray of hope. In the foreground lies a dog, lifeless. The whole as atmosphere is tragic, or lowering sky, and one shore without hope and scene unfolds. This is the town of Denmark, now a ghost town. The town folks scattered here and they turn towards the crowd huddled together in front of the boat. Some will never reach the boat. Martyrs the Bridge, 1989. This is a bridge that unites one bank to another, that unites heaven to earth. It is built like a circle turning in space, a galaxy where every being is a star and where every presence is something necessary. A great multitude manifesting on a bridge that gives a voice to a national cry, national feast, showing bright spirit, the sky is flaming and warm and is leading to infinity and eternity.